everyone. Welcome back to the Gold Technical Analysis Session with Mukmik. So, yesterday we hit our tech profits. Well done everyone, congratulations on your profits. And I will talk you through what happened and why did I send out the signal. Alright, this is where we were yesterday and I said, you guys, we have our QM pattern here in the 4 hours time frame and we were waiting for selling somewhere there and I used my Fibonacci retracement to find the entry point right? and what I've got for you is there somewhere here okay and once the price have come up I do have a confirming signals as well which is the classic divergence in a smaller time frame which is 5 minute time frame and I sent out those signals and let's see what happened Can you see that? so we got the order very very beautiful and we made some profits so good job let's see what I've got for you today it's quite exciting okay are you ready? let's go to the monthly time frame why? why do we have to go to the monthly time frame for today it is because it's the starting of a new month so welcome june please be kind to us <laughs> all right what happened to the monthly time frame is that we still have our demand zone here an uptrend okay so buying is still all right but not as beautiful as it should be so the last point that we will go for a buy is at 1780 all right and from the candlestick pattern this month can be closed as either bullish or bearish but for sure it could make a low below all right if this demand zone is working it will need a confirming signal from the bullish reversal bar and the bullish reversal bar needs to make a low below okay it will make a low below but the close price will be higher than the lower price of the last month's candlestick okay so that's the perspective for the monthly time frame let's drop down to the weekly time frame okay we still have the same thing for the weekly time frame is using this demand zone and we have our supply zone here with the resistance at 1880 and 1890 that's for the weekly time frame what about the daily time frame for the daily time frame this demand zone is very weak and it will be removed very soon <laughs> maybe once i publish this video it is gone okay so we have our supply here for the daily time frame at 1880 as always and in the daily time frame what i've got for you next is that the resistance at 1860 is very strong what about the supports? Not quite sure in this time frame, alright? But I know that it's somewhere around 1830. It's in the 4 hours time frame. Let's drop down one. I will remove this demand zone for a daily time frame. So in the 4 hours time frame, oh, interesting. So I have this supply zone for you, which is the resistance at around 18. 50. beautiful so the first point for selling in this time frame is 1850 okay what I have for you next will be in the one hour's time frame I actually I have already sent out the signal for today which is this one buy gold at 1830 to 1828 why is that is because this is the demand zone let me change it to green and i do have a confirming pattern here 
which is the goal strategy that we have in our courses. I use my Fibonacci extension and this is exactly the price that I set on my telegram. So this is our plan for today. I have already confirmed it in our telegram. All right. What about the selling plan? In the one hour time frame, you will see one more resistance here at around 1840 something. Okay. But at this point, it's very, very risky to make a selling plan. If we do have a signal, I will send you, but you may need to reduce the risk here. Okay, so that's the plan for today. I hope you get something from this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also click the subscribe button for us. If you want to join me in the BUBI project, I will leave the information down below. I'll see you in there. Bye.